If you're still trying to build out AI automations inside of N8N, Make, or any other tool, you're using AI the hard way. Because there's a new tool that lets you explain in plain English exactly what you want to automate, and it builds out that AI workflow for you, even if it doesn't already exist. For example, I use this to create a Telegram chatbot that actually has memory on it, and I used it for a client to build out a tool that automatically builds offer letters and contracts. By the end of this video, you're going to know exactly what this tool is, how you could use it, and I'm going to share with you five crazy use cases and examples for things that you could build with this. So that brand new AI tool that I'm talking about is going to be Deep Agent from Abacus AI because they just launched a brand new feature that now allows you to build and deploy web services and API endpoints end-to-end -end from just natural language instructions. Now, what exactly does this mean? It unlocks a bunch of new use cases that allow you to automate tons of different things that are going to blow your mind, especially things that weren't possible before just a few days ago. Now, before I get into the demos of what this actually makes capable, I did want to emphasize a few things. Deep Agent does all the heavy listing here. It designs the API contracts. It defines the requests and response schemas. It builds and orchestrates the logic, all from you giving it a plain English prompt. In addition to that, it connects to data sources and external services, and it deploys a secured, documented endpoint that is ready for real use. In addition to that, everything that this makes is going to be versioned and maintainable. It's going to be observable and debuggable, and it's easy to extend. So as your business's requirements change, your services can adapt with them. And that is why I really love what I'm about to show you. For example, you can now come over to Deep Agent and in plain English, just give it a prompt like this that says, create a chat service for my Telegram chatbot. It should remember the history for every chat. And then this will go through, ask you a few questions, you answer those, and then this goes off and actually builds this out. And I want you to think about how powerful this is. Look, it's already built out and it literally gives you everything. Now this not only went through and actually created the API, it also created the prerequisites, the setup instructions, all of the different API documentation, how to use it, the architecture, the database schema, it literally created everything. So it went off, built this API, tells you exactly how to use it, and you could use this in any way that you want. On top of that, it also goes through exactly what the service flow looks like and how to use this new app that you created. Now, we could set it up right here and see exactly how it works inside of Telegram. And we can see that from here, we go to this soccer analysis. It says, hello there, I'm your friendly AI assistant, ready to help you out. How can I brighten your day or assist you with something? And then you ask it, scores of all last week's Champion League ship games, and then it goes off and actually replies. And then we could see right here that what this did was went to the Champion League's website right here and it got the score from every game and then it sent it back to us in Telegram so that we didn't have to do it. Or we could also come over here and we could see that it asks us again, hey there, I'm your AI assistant, how can I help you today? I could summarize articles or PDFs, plan trips, meals, workouts, explain concepts, debug code, draft emails, posts, resumes, do so much. We could see right here, can you tell me who is currently injured at Arsenal and Real Madrid currently and expected returns? And then this goes through and this figures out exactly who is injured, when they're expected to return and gives it back to us. And you'll be able to build out Telegram chats like this for anything and again, these right here have memory. So multiple people could interact with them. You could have your employees interact with them. You could interact with these yourself and you could build your own chat bot or you could have your customers or prospective leads go through and interact with a chat bot like this that is trained on whatever knowledge you want. And we got this literally just from a simple text prompt. But that's not the only thing that you could do. For example, we could come over here and say, create an API that generates personalized offer letters and employment contracts from pre-approved templates when a new hire is added to the HR system. It should create the template for Abacus AI on your own and save it, and then create the API for which input, salutation, name a candidate, designation, data joining output, and then the final offer letter should be in a docx format. By the way, this right here would literally be like somebody's full-time job in AHR, but now this tool can automate this. Then it goes off, it's going to ask us a few questions per usual so that it doesn't get anything wrong, and then it goes through and it actually codes this out. And we can see that this actually builds a REST API service in order to make these personalized offer letters. And we can see right here what the actual result of this is, what the tech stack is, and it tells us everything about it. And then we'll actually be able to use this and deploy this right here. So we could come over here and we could actually put 
the candidate's information in here. This goes through and this executes this and then we could download the file right here that shows us everything that is going to be on the offer letter. The job position and title, their compensation and benefits, the employment terms, the conditional employment, the offer acceptance, and this went through and generated this without us having to do anything because it built out this API and built out this automation in order to do this when we just give it a little bit of information. Now, before we dive into the rest of the use cases that are only gonna keep getting crazier and crazier, I wanted to remind you that you could go to the pinned comment below and get started with Deep Agent today so that you could begin to automate your tasks and automate your work by just simply describing what you want in plain English. The best part is, is that it starts at only $10 a month and you don't only get access to Deep Agent, which allows you to automate things, you also get access to pretty much every single AI tool that exists. Every single LLM, there's an image creation tool, there's a video creation tool, and so much more, which makes this tool an absolute no-brainer. In fact, it's my favorite all-in-one AI tool. Now, the next thing that we're gonna get this to do is create an API that takes a list of customer reviews in text format and then categorizes the reviews based on sentiment analysis of customer reviews and then returns an Excel sheet with category tag next to each review. And it should use Abacus AI LLM capabilities for the sentiment analysis. And like I shared with you earlier, Abacus AI's LLM is able to access a ton of other different LLMs, which makes this incredibly powerful because anytime a new model comes out, we could just change it to be that. Okay, so this is gonna go through, this is going to ask us a few questions right here. It is then going to go through, it is going to actually build this out, and then we're going to have the sentiment analyzer right here, which is incredible, and we could hook this up to anything that we want. We could have it scan social media. We could have it scan Amazon reviews. We could have it scan anything, and we could see right here that we're dropping in this file right here. This is going to go through and execute, and then this is going to give us this other file right here, which goes through and looks at all of these different reviews. So we could see the original review here. We could see the sentiment. We could see the key topics. We could see the urgency level. And this makes your customer support team shop way easier, your sales team shop way easier, and your product team's job way easier. Because now you were able to take everything that anybody is saying about your app, about your widget, about your tool, about your software, about your company, it doesn't matter. And you're able to get sentiment analysis. And you could also use this in order to find new markets or to spy on your competitors or anything like that. Now, the next thing that I want to get this to do is to create a stock analyzer API. This API should fetch real-time and historical financial data for a given stock from Yahoo Finance and then apply AI-driven analysis to produce human readable insights and structured metrics. So we're going to go through here. We're going to outline exactly what the input parameters should be and what the output should look like. And then this is going to go through and this is going to build this out for us. Now, again, it goes through. It asks us a few questions here in order for us to proceed. And then this goes through and actually builds this out. And I want you to think about how crazy this is, because if you use a tool like N8N or you use a tool like Make and you're new to AI, you are going to get incredibly frustrated because you're going to find that these tools require that you go through and think through this step by step, and it makes your life incredibly hard. But a tool like Abacus AI and Deep Agent makes this incredibly easy because you just give it a prompt. It asks you all of the clarifying questions. So you don't actually have to think through everything that this is going to need. And then this literally goes through and builds the API for you in order to automate whatever type of process you want it to. And as we could see, this now went through and this built out this stock analyzer and we could click on this. And this is where you could go through and insert whatever you want. So we're gonna put in Google right here. And now this is going to go through and this is going to execute all of this code, this entire API in order to actually analyze this stock right here and be able to get all of this information once we go through and execute on this. And we could see that just right here, this spit out, we actually did this for Apple, the current price, the market cap, the PE ratio, the dividend yield, the price history, a financial summary, a risk assessment. And we could have this go through and check this for several different stocks. We could go through and we could build this out for several different tools. The opportunities here are endless when it comes to building out one of these APIs because you can customize it 
however you want. Now, the last thing that we're going to do here is we're going to create an API that extracts vendor amounts, due dates from uploaded invoices. So basically, this API is going to be able to accept something, either a PDF or an image, and it is then going to go through and it is going to make sense of whatever that invoice is. And again, we could insert this into a tool, we could insert this into an automation, and it ends up allowing us to do in-depth analysis or automate things that in the past just weren't possible. And again, this is going to go through, ask us a few questions, like should we be able to upload multiple files and things like that. And then this goes through and builds out this Nest API. So this is going through, this has created this right here. And now we could check on this and see exactly what this looks like. And you could see that we can now come over here, we could upload an invoice into this, for example, this, this will then execute, and this will give us all of this information here. And then again, what makes this incredibly powerful is not just the fact that it is able to do this, but that we just built our own API that we could then input into any tool. We could then input into any automation. And this basically allows you to automate anything that you want. Because you could have Deep Agent over here build you out an API for anything. Because one of the most painful things whenever I'm building out automations is I get stuck and I don't have an API that can do the custom thing that I want to do. And if you come over to Deep Agent right here, come over to APIs and actually come over here, you will see a bunch of other examples. Because not only can you build APIs, you could build full stack apps, you could have this build out dashboards, you could build out Stripe integrations, AI apps, apps, content apps, the opportunities here are absolutely endless. And if you wanted to see all the other things that you were able to do with Deep Agent, you just come over here because you could have this build out PowerPoints, you could have this do browser use, you could build out chatbots, AI workflows, you could make short form content with this. If you come into more, you could see that you could have a code things, do data analysis. The opportunities here are endless when you use a powerful AI tool like Deep Agent. For example, I have this go through all the time actually and go into my Google Drive and find things that are trending in order for me to post on social media. We could see over here that I have this set up, it authenticated with my Google Drive, and then this literally tells me exactly what is trending every single day on social media. And if we come into tasks right here, you could set up any of these things as a task. So Abacus AI not only lets you access every single LLM from chat LLM, it also allows you to automate anything that you want. Again, if you wanted to access any single LLM, you just come over here and you can see all of them in here, like Gemini 3 Pro, Nano Banana, Nano Banana Pro, the new Grok models, new ChatGPT models, new Claude models, literally everything in here. And look at all these other things that you could do. You could do video analysis, you could humanize things, lip sync, video generation. The opportunities here absolutely endless. Now, if you enjoyed this video, I would strongly suggest you check out this video right here that walks you through all the latest changes with ChatGPT 5.1, because now it's way more powerful. That sounds interesting. I'll see you over there.